As we head into the last week of session, your first as a lawmaker, what are your thoughts as you look back on the 2017 regular session? I'm honored and it was a privilege to serve the 7th District. I was able to hit the ground running. I got a bill passed through the House and the Senate. I'm, I'm very excited to work on bipartisan issues and serve the district this interim for the issues they need and keep going. Speaking of your bill, you had your first bill pass the legislature. What's that process been like? It's been great. We've had a great response and it's actually brought the issue of homelessness and wildfires to the forefront. So it's now a topic that everyone is discussing. Let's make sure this does not happen. Let's make sure we don't have catastrophic wildfires and let's start preventing them. It's something that's on the mouths of both sides of the aisle and I'm honored to be able to talk about it and, and help our district in that way and bring services like fire truck and radio equipment to the district. As of right now, the budget is not finalized. Negotiations are ongoing. What other issues are you hoping to see wrapped up in the last few days? We have to have the Hearst decision wrapped up. That is so important. We have been working very hard. Representative Coster and I had that bill to make sure that everyone knows how their property taxes are going to be affected by this court decision. And we need to look for the future. We need to make sure these lands that people have invested in can have a home on them and can be developed. That is land that you paid for, that you have worked for, that you have the right to. We have to have the Hearst decision taken care of. As you head out after session is over, your work as a state representative isn't done. What are your plans for the interim? We are going to work on economic development. That is something the 7th District legislators have made a top priority. We are going to make sure we fight to make sure our small businesses don't get that 20% B&O tax, that don't get you know, restrictions on where they can put their businesses, and it gives local governments control. We are going to be on the floor working those streets, making sure we talk to these businessmen and we start producing innovations that bring businesses back. Like the House bill that I wrote, 2194, to make sure we have continued to bring manufacturing back into the district and reward those manufacturers for doing the right thing, doing it for Washington State and in the 7th District. If folks want to contact you, what's the best way to do that? The office number is 360-786. 7908 or they're welcome to email at Jacqueline J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N dot Maycumber M-A-Y-C-U-M-B-E-R and they're welcome to go to the website it's representative Jacqueline Maycumber dot com.